We just want to have a look at the, the two teams starting tonight. We'll start with Bohemians and I was, I've been told just before the, the game started that Liam Bird has picked up a knock. He's going to be out for a couple of weeks. Dundalk named Brian Gartland as their captain for the season. He doesn't make the starting 11 though so Pat Hooban is deputising. But uh, just the two changes from, from Stephen O'Donnell so he's probably looking for a consistent starting lineup to, to start the season. Yeah. Ali Kush to whip this ball in again. It's a good ball right in on top of the keeper and it's still there. I, yeah. thought, I thought it had, had floating over for another corner. Ten deliveries are causing problems for uh, Dundalk. They certainly are. And I think there's a bit of a win going in there when he puts it in the box. Doing now, Dano. Ali with another cross in. Yeah, and it's in there. Goal. It's a fantastic header. Jordan Flores. It's Jordan Flores. He threatened it in the corner before. And he threatens it again. And this time it comes off. It's the first goal of the season for Bohemians. And it's the first goal of the season for Jordan Flores. He'd be delighted with that. Because I tell you what, he wasn't... Um, you gotta, you gotta defend that. It's, it's your front post, and it's a poor goal to uh, concede. Look, two last week against Derry were very poor. It's another goal, and Stevie, look, it's Stevie be uh, fairly annoyed with that. And Dan Williams will go across to, to take the corner. Two goals in the first division: Cove Ramblers beating Wexford one 0 Waterford beating Bray Wonders one 0 yeah, good start for Waterford to the season last last weekend as the corner comes in. And the header is there, and we said it, you're most vulnerable when you've just conceded, and Bowes proved that true. Pat Hooban, their top scorer last year, opens his account for the season and gives those away fans something to cheer about. Pat Hooban's showing his strength there. He held Feely off. It looked like it, it, looked like it was Feely. He held off really well. It's a great header. But it's that, that, near, that near post. You've got, you got to defend it. You shouldn't get a free header like that. Yeah, Pat Hoobin is always going to be a handful and he's, he's proved that again once more. His first goal of the season, I'm sure it'll be the first of many. Bohemians be bitterly disappointed with that though, conceding straight after scoring. Comes out of his box to control. I think Chris, Chris Wardock stopped there. If he didn't stop, he would have had a chance because the keeper took a touch. Yeah, Dawson with a header back to Tariq Wilson who will feed it to James Talbot. Not a great clearance from Talbot. It'll fall to Greg Sloggett. Ali Coote putting him under a bit of pressure and Rory Feely there with a great challenge to stop Daniel Kelly getting away. Talbot wasn't ready for the, uh, the pass back into the position for um, from no. Wilson. Flores on Coming the ball now, the trying to find promise, oh, and he touch. does, and Ali Koo can knock it on oh, for Chris Tordek, and there's afters, and there there might be more to do after that, but the ball gets played in, promise oh, was Jerry! What a touch! Goal, was it? I, I'm not sure I'll need to see a replay, but that looked like Thomas Amashiri might have let the ball run through onto his ankle. Either way, it's ended up in the back of the Dundalk net. What a, uh, what a cross from Chris Tordak, that's his good job, he loves, absolutely loves crossing the ball into the box and that's it's brilliant. And you have to commend the referee there for giving the advantage, he could have brought it back but he allowed Bowes to play on, Ali Coot was the one who went down, but the ball went through, Chris Tordak again, he's just been challenging on the wing all day, great cross, low, hard, along the ground and promise on Cherie, we're not sure if he got the final touch. He wants but a striker getting across the front post and that's what he's caused problems, whether he's touched it or not, he's done excellent to get across the front, across the defender with a hit, I think it was Andy Boyle with him. Ali Coot will float this one over again it seems. He will indeed, Oh, header goes up, it'll come to Rory Feely, touch and Feely deliver. back out to Coot, fakes it, Back to Feely, first time cross. Wow. Oh, and it's just past the post. A flick on from Dawson Devoy there. It was a good cross from Rory Feely, low and hard across the across the front of that Dundalk defence and gone into the bottom corner. I think Dawson tried to be a little bit too clever there. It's an excellent cross from Feely. Um, I thought that the ball was left short from Ali Coop, but he's delivered in a perfect ball. Dawson just get a little bit more on it. You'd imagine those two subs came hand in hand for a little bit more ball playing action with Dundalk as Grant Horton wins the header. McMillan outside Kelly. Kelly gets the ball in and it's a dangerous one. And in comes the cross and in it goes. It's a header on the far side. Stephen Bradley, Stephen I think it Bradley, is. Stephen Bradley, two goals in two. The it's ball came across, Tariq was always under it. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was poor from Tariq. I don't think he really was aware of the danger Bradley was posing behind him and Bradley attacked it very well in fairness he, he showed that bit of impetus and, and got his head onto it and James Talbot could only but watch us fly past him it was always hard it was a great ball across um, it was always Bradley always had the run on Tariq Wilson, uh, Wilson he's not the biggest guy um, Wilson but um, I don't think James Talbot knew much about it no 
Keith Long is furious about yeah, something in there. Yeah, feel he went down holding his foot, it looked like. It's a great That's a fantastic pass by Flores. And Malin with the touch, oh, and he's taken down, and the referee walk. gives a goal kick. He's played none of the ball there. Flores yeah. his angle when he played that pass there. It looks like it, looks like it yeah. It's a hell of a pass. Um, it was a bit lucky there, Sam Bone. Yeah. Malin had the beaten of him. And uh, Flores seems to be able to, to run it off. It's 1v1, where's Feely here, Bradley? Yeah, Bradley, good he's feet. He's done well, he's hung And that's up. another great cross, and Tyreek Wilson gets across this time to, to get a clear. Slogger trying to move it forward, and in the end, Finity goes for safety rather than anything else. Oh. And that could be a, ter a terrible header. And oh, oh, and he's lost his pitch. footing. He's lost his footing there as he looked absolutely sure to beat too Shepherd to the ball. Two short pass, one with Conley, one from Andy Boyle. Andy Boyle originally covered Conley well, but uh, he played a short pass back to the keeper. Final half of the half. James Finnerty, is he judged to have fouled there? Macmillan, great oh. touch. Oh, great block in front. I think it was Grant Horton Warren, yeah, that got himself challenge. in front of it. Another dangerous moment for Bohemians. Talbot goes long. Again, promised the target. He wins oh, it this time. Header. But Andy Boyle is well positioned to deal with this. Finnerty heads it back into the midfield and a combination of Doherty and Dawson get it towards Promise and Promise Switch taken down left, there. Left, oh, there's left. a great ball on. And there's Jamie finish. Mullins. Jamie Mullins takes it down and he takes the shot on and it's deflected. It's the pitch again. It just looks a bit... It's like, oh, I don't know. He's just got his feet stuck in the ground. He's yeah. took a great force touch and then gets his feet stuck in the ground. It was a lovely little dink over from Dawson to find Jamie Mullins. Dawson sees these passes, it's a great pass. There. The old dog, 94th minute, tracking back Rory Feely, gets yeah. his body in front, boys a free kick. And there is the full time whistle, honours end even here between Bohemians and Dundalk. It'll probably be, feel like an opportunity miss for Bohemians, but in the end, Dano, it's a fair result. Yeah, I think it's a fair result, not many clear cut chances maybe. Uh, in the second half for either team, either team that could win the game man. I think it's a fair result on both sides and maybe both could it's, they'd be happy enough actually with the point I think in my opinion yeah it was possibly a fair result um, I think it could have went either way we, we had chances um, and they had chances as well so it kind of ebbed and flowed so I suppose we, we, we'd be disappointed defensively because you don't want to concede two goals we've, we've lots to work on um, but to score two and, and the two goals we scored were particularly good. Promises, sec promises goal, second one was particularly good.